Here's where we left off in the last video. We've got a mostly functioning channel form. In that we can key a channel, press enter, and the channel array is updated with a new channel, and the input is cleared. However, the new channel isn't displayed because we're not storing the channel's array in a place where React will respond to the change and render the updates. What we determined in the last video is that we should move the channel's array into the state of our channel section component. So let's get started. Let's create a constructor method on our channel section class as we did for our channel forms component in the last video. The constructor is passed a props object, then we'll call the super function passing in the props. Next, we'll set this.state equals to an object with the channel's property. Now let's cut the array we defined at the top of the file, and we'll get rid of the channel's variable. Next, let's paste the array we used above as the initial value for our channel's property. Here's the next question. How is the channel form component going to be able to add a channel. It doesn't have access to modify the state of its parent component's channel section. But what we can do is define a function that will modify the channel's array stored in the state object, and then pass that function into our channel form as a property. Then in the onSubmit event handler of the channel form, the function from the parent component can be called. To do this, we'll create a function called addChannel, which takes a channel name parameter. Inside this new function, we'll set a channel's variable to the corresponding value stored in state, again using the destructuring operator. Next, we'll push a new object onto the channel's array, then we'll call this.setState, passing in an object with the property channels set to our channel's variable. Remember, when we call setState, it triggers the React runtime to evaluate changes and re-render components as appropriate. Now we just need to modify the channel's property being passed to the channel list component setting the value using this.state.channels. We also need to pass our addChannel function to our channel form component. By setting the property addChannel equal to addChannel.bind and passing in this. Now we can go back to our onSubmit event handler in our channel form and call the addChannel function it was provided as a property. Let's also remove the code that was updating the old channels array. All right, let's save the file flip back over to the browser, and refresh the page. Then we'll key a new channel and press enter, and it works. Cool. Well, that's the quick start guide to React. This isn't a comprehensive guide, but it's enough so we can get started on our actual project, which we'll do in the next video. If you like this free React quick start series, please sign up for my mailing list so I can let you know when new content's available. To access the next video in the series, go to knowthen.com rta.